our spiritual temperature. Revelations chapter 3 verses 14 through 22. Write this to the angel of the church in Laodicea. Here is a message from the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the ruler of all that God has made. I know what you do. You are not hot or cold. I wish you were hot or cold, but you are only warm, not hot, not cold. So I am ready to spit you out of my mouth. You say you are rich. You think you have become wealthy and don't need anything, but you don't know that you are really miserable, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. I advise you to buy gold from me, gold made pure in fire. Then you will be rich. I tell you this, buy clothes that are white. Then you will be able to cover your shameful nakedness. I also tell you to buy medicine to put on your eyes. Then you will be able to see. I correct and punish the people I love. So show that nothing is more important to you than living right. Change your hearts and lives. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and eat with you and you will eat with me. I would let everyone who wins the victory sit with me on my throne. It was the same with me. I won the victory and sat down with my father on his throne. Everyone who hears this should listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. Heavenly Father, thank you for being the physician of our soul, seeing the purity of our hearts, and discerning the intensity of our love for you. We desire to be passionate in our love and devotion to you, not merely giving you religious obligations. Let us listen to what you have said and still say to us today. Let us realize that there's nothing in this world that should be more important than our love and obedience to you. Thank you for your warnings and instructions to us, for us to change our hearts and lives before it is too late. We know the treasures of this world are temporary. Therefore, we should focus our attention and affection on you, the all-powerful and mighty God whose kingdom is everlasting. Let us change our ways this day. In Jesus' name, amen.